Hi friends, once again, welcome to my YouTube channel, Passion Drawings. Ashok Zado welcomes you. Today, we will study UGT and ACR trigger. That means, we are going to study how unijunction transistor can be used as triggering device for ACR. So, let us see one circuit. Uh, what you see is the uh, actually it is a UJT sawtooth oscillator or relaxation oscillator. You have studied this circuit last year, uh, and you know that this is the symbol for UJT. We have it has three terminals base two, base one, and this emitter. We just focus on this UJT oscillator and the pulse generated at this base one that is coupled or applied to the gate of SCR which you want to turn on. Actually this SCR is a part of high power circuit where you have the large load, large voltage and this SCR whenever it is on it will carry the conduct, uh, carry the current and, and the power will be delivered to the load and so long this SCR is off no current flows and power is not delivered to the load. Uh, you just uh, focus on this circuit and we want to focus on at what instant this pulse occurs okay so let us study this circuit so every UGT has a VP voltage we call it as a peak voltage and it depends upon for example here this is a B2 terminal B1 terminal and when some voltage is applied here let us consider one example here say voltage is say 8 volt VBB let us call it as voltage between base to base okay say it is 8 volt and you see that when 8 volt is connected there applied there there is a resistance and capacitance and this this terminal is connected to the emitter so because of this plus uh, 8 volt here this capacitor begins to charge because of this resistor and this voltage the voltage at this emitter point you can say begins to increase it increases exponentially and when this emitter voltage reaches to specific value we call it as a VP peak value specific value and that depends upon the VB for example we are consider VBB as 8 volt and this voltage when this voltage reaches to for example 6.5 agar yahan 8 voltage bias kiya hai to jab bhi emitter ko 6.5 voltage milega to ye UGT fire ho jayega so it begins to conduct current through this uh, B2 and B1 and internal resistance between emitter and base 1 collapses it decreases to very low value and because of this capacitor which was charged to 6.5 decreases instantly so current flows to this 47 ohm that is resistor connected to the base one and because of that current flow large current flow voltage gets because voltage is nothing but the current into resistors current is large instantly and therefore a sharp voltage is developed there uh, see that in the diagram we have sharp duration pulse a pulse of very short duration and large voltage is generated so pulse of maybe 5 to 10 volt if depends upon of course this 8 volt for example this is 8 and peak voltage is say 6.5 so pulse of approximately 6.5 volt is generated here and that pulse is applied to the gate through resistance so this pulse was as a triggering voltage VGT and that will fire this SCR and you know one property of SCR when SCR turns on the gate current loses its control over working of SCR once SCR fires fires Reducing the gate current, reducing the gate voltage or cutting the gate current has no effect on the state of SR. It remains on, right? So, our interest is that at what instant that first pulse occurs and that is decided by, decided by this 
variable resistors and capacitor and again you know that next thing what happens when this capacitor voltage decreases as it discharges let us consider the waveform so that you can understand see that this is the time profile of the voltage across capacitor on x-axis we have time on y-axis we have vc that is voltage across capacitor and you see that when you turn on this circuit this capacitor voltage begins to increase from zero it increases increases exponentially it reaches to the vp and when it reaches to the vp this ugt fires it was at the close switch and this capacitor discharges through this rb1 the resistance connected to the base one terminal and because of that the voltage discharges i mean this capacitor discharges and you know that when capacitor discharges voltage across capacitor decreases exponentially as the resistance is very low discharging path resistance is very low it quickly discharges so time taken to this voltage uh, drop from vp to this low level is a very short this much is the interval okay and for ugt there is one term we call it as a value voltage just as we have vp we have value voltage value voltage means uh, it is the say when this emitter voltage drops below a certain minimum level say value voltage जब ये इमीटर के वोल्टेज वी वी के नीचे जाएगा वैल्यू वोल्टेज के नीचे जाएगा तो यूजिटी विल रिटर्न टू इट्स ब्लॉकिंग स्टेट दैट मीन इट विल गो इन टू ऑफ स्टेट इट विल वर्क एज अ ऑफ स्विच मतलब आफ्टर वर्ड्स दिस डिस्चार्जिंग ऑफ कैपेसिटर स्टॉप दिस इज दिस पॉइंट दिस वोल्टेज ड्रॉप्स टू वी वी आफ्टर दैट this ugt turns off or switches off and you know that as soon as this uh, switches off this capacitor begins to charge and that's why you can see that again capacitor begins to charge from this uh, vv value voltage right and uh, this voltage increases again it reaches to vp and again it discharges and so on this cycle is repeated on its own that's why it is called as an oscillator and the device goes into on and off state completely that's why it is called as relaxation it relaxes alternately okay now the question is our interest is in the first pulse so there can be so many pulses in one second but our is our interest is how much time this capacitor takes Uh, to reach this capacitor voltage from zero to VP, and that let us call it as a time period T, and that T depends upon the value of resistance and capacitor, and exactly mathematical formula is that period is given by capital T is given by two point three not three multiplied by value of this resistance, value of this capacitor, and log of one upon one minus eta. this eta is called intrinsic stand off ratio it depends upon the construction of the ugt and it is provided by the manufacturer uh, actually for most of the ugt this eta is about approximately 0.6 this is a fixed number 0.6 so eta you put it here and uh, you can have the fixed capacitor and you can vary this resistance so that We can vary this time period. So, ये कब VP आएगा? उसको कितना समय लगेगा? मतलब T. That is decided by value of this resistor. So, if you decrease this resistor, the capacitor voltage will increase to VP earlier. To cut this cursor point, तो कम समय में VP को जाएगा. See there, like this. And at this instant you will get the triggering pulse and scr will fire earlier and when scr fires earlier it delivers more power to the load we have seen that but if you increase this resistance the capacitor will take more time to reach to vp so from this zero so earlier this is the normal low current resistance company baad aise jayega aur resistance badhne baad aise jayega ऐसे जाएगा मतलब 
the capacitor voltage is increasing and time taken to reach the VP voltage will be more in this case and more time means SCR will trigger late because of that low power will be delivered to the yes, I mean load so, and of course first pulse is important first pulse will trigger the SCR subsequent pulses are not important that means how many cycle that UJT completes you are not interested in in very first cycle how much time it takes to attend that VP that is important that is going to decide the triggering instant or the firing angle of the VSCR see that these are the pulses so this pulse there can be multiple pulses our interest is in the first pulse so this is one thing uh, this is the formula uh, how to trigger earlier or late and this power supply here we have shown very simple switch but in the actual circuit it can be a rectified voltage from the line voltage and rectified voltage from the line voltage is reference with zero so that uh, firing angle of the alpha also can be synchronized with the zero value of the source voltage and one more condition here is uh, see here what it says voltage at b1 off voltage at b1 of ugt when ugt is off should be less than these two component this is current into resistance this is the voltage and vg minimum you know that vg minimum is minimum voltage required uh, to start or to trigger the scr hame scr kab kab on karna hai so when this uh, capacitor voltage reaches to VP. Yeah, VP aane ke baad isko on karna hai. Rest of the time, this voltage should be. Agar UGT off hai, to ye voltage isse kam chahiye. Because we want to determine, we want to decide at what instant that SCR should fire. Not any other time. So for rest of the time this voltage that means when UGT is off this voltage should be less than that. So this is how UGT can be used to trigger the SCR and uh, in lab session you are going to study this circuit for some practical applications. So I think it is time to stop here. See you next time. Bye.